since July, I believe it was, we have, whenever we boondock, in order to have power, because obviously I need power to work and get my clients taken care of and get my freelance work done. So we have been using this box right here. And this plugs in. This cable comes all the way to the window. So we actually have to bring in a cable through the window so down there in the basement we have two batteries and an inverter that basically gives us power and the power is in none of our outlets because of the way it's hooked up right now the power only comes from this box right here <laughs> so we are very excited because today is the day huh babe <laughs> yes today is the day we're, we're getting it done we're getting rid of this cable and shout out to justin from opting out of normal he actually is the one that helped us rig this up so we actually can have some sort of power it was pretty bad and pretty brutal over the summer because i was losing um work because of it it was just not a good situation so now, ever since then, whenever we have had to boondock or whenever we've chosen to, we've had power that we can still battery, battery, get battery, work battery, done. Battery. 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 <laughs> See, happy dance. Battery. Battery. <laughs> battery. 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 So I am today playing electrician. I'm not very excited about it, but I have no choice. I have to get this done. But thanks to my friend uh, Justin over at Optin at Normal. Uh, he has basically laid out my panel, so I cannot mess this up. So I appreciate you, Justin. But um, we're going to bolt everything in and drill some holes. Actually, I just have to really drill one hole, so that's awesome. And I'm going to put this in my little panel right here and uh, get her done. Outside making fun of me. I can hear him making fun of me. You hear this crap? Making fun of my hand. And we're live! <laughs> yeah. Uh. I can hear you guys. Okay. <laughs> Obviously, Sanchez is very happy about this panel going in. These extension cords, man, it's like we've been uh, in the early 1900s, right? But. We're getting it done. Oh, that corn looks good. Oh man, that corn looks great. Hold on. This is corn from last night. It's really cold. Anyway, back to work. Now I have to remember how Justin set this up. So this is the power. Oh my gosh! Ah! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> There's just too much fun going on over here. They're gonna go check out the manatees over in Crystal River while I get this solar stuff done. This is the reason why we came out here. I would love to go with them. Um, kind of sad. It's a beautiful day out here in Florida. Uh, we're near Wildwood. Um, but yeah, it's all good. We got to get her done. So yeah, so now I have to remember everything um, on the inverter battery side. And um, there's a lot of stuff going on here. So I'm just going to video all the lines so I don't forget. Yes. So this is the line from the generator. It goes to the power side here 
this is the negative side and it goes here this is the power from the inverter and it goes on the negative side as well so does the magnum little guy here and the negative to the uh, magnum energy actually I'm gonna put all the negatives on this guy I'm gonna put all the negatives on this guy and the reason why I'm gonna do that is because Justin told me so <laughs> yes Justin made my life ten times easier all right so this was just what we called reek and rigged right um this was a part-time solution to our problem and um, after seven months we're finally going to get rid of this problem obviously it's a mess in here you have to take out your your um your wall in order to get access to your beautiful wires and everything else behind here and um i'm going to move these batteries here I'm gonna move the inverter to the other side there's my transfer switch right there and um, we're gonna hook it all up but right now I'm gonna disconnect everything because I do not want to get shocked during this process yeah so I'm gonna set you over here watch me work okay So let me show you what I got going on here. So now there's a lot of things that I like about this. One, I have something solid that I could strap these batteries to. Two, I have easy access to all my terminals here. And I won't have to add much of extension to my power line for my generator. So that's good. And then I have my, my negative and this is my positive for the generator. And I have my my solar controller over here on this side, and I'm I'm planning on running those down right here, just like my power. And um, basically, it'll be almost invisible, except for those holes right there that I had no choice to put there. And um, yeah, I'm excited about that. But yeah, here we go. What I'm doing right now is I am pulling out the main from the uh, original panel that come that came with my RV and this is the 63 here and I am moving it up to this panel and I'm going to connect them to these two breakers here we have a a double 30 here and I'm going to hook up my red and black here and um, then I'm going to run these two guys oh. and these are going to be my ACs so I'm gonna have to pull out my 220 air conditionings from this panel, which I'm not sure exactly which one it is. I'm gonna have to refer to my panel here. And it says bedroom, bedroom AC. So this is my bedroom AC right here. And I'm gonna just flip that down so I know which one it is. And then my rear AC, which one is that one gonna be? Garage GFI rear AC right there RAC yeah, I guess so. So it's gonna be two over from the main. Boom. So here's my other AC. So I'm gonna pull these two black wires out of here as well, and I'm gonna run them up here to this panel. That way, the only time the AC it will be switched is if I'm hooked up to, um, if I'm hooked up to a a, a um, what do you call those things? pedestal if I'm hooked up to a pedestal at a park it the power the main power will come through these two 30 amp breakers and then um, is that right no wait a minute yeah that's right yes right so the only time power will come on to the ACs as if it, is if it runs off of this box here. Right? I think that's right. Let's go double check. 
I actually wrote this down. So here's what, what my writing down looks like. So we're going to go from the transfer switch to the new panel, which that's what I said. And then we're going to go from the new panel to the inverter. Okay. Right. Right. And then we're going to go from the inverter to the old panel. Perfect. So, right. We're going to go. So those two 20s in the new panel will run my ACs if I'm hooked up to a pedestal. Woo! I got it right. <laughs>